At this time, the chair recognizes Councilman Green, who will present a resolution recognizing Philadelphia ceasefire. Would Marla Davis Bellamy and those accompanying her please join the councilman at the podium? And joining Councilman Green, we have Councilman Greenlee, Councilman Heenan, Councilman O, and Councilwoman Bass, Councilwoman Gim, and Councilwoman Blackwell, Councilman Don, and Councilwoman Parker, and Councilman Taubenberger, and Councilwoman Keona Sanchez. <laughs> Good morning, it's a true pleasure to honor Philadelphia Ceasefire for the work that they do in our communities. Many of you have read in the past couple of weeks some of the violence that's been occurring in the city of Philadelphia. So to have an organization like Ceasefire actively working to address violence in our city and helping uh, especially young men, young men of color to find alternative ways to come to dispute resolution and it's a pleasure to be here to recognize them for their efforts. Um, this resolution recognizing Philadelphia ceasefire for their ongoing violence reduction efforts in the city of Philadelphia. Whereas dedicated and sustained work from a broad coalition of anti-violence activists, law enforcement agencies, religious leaders, business people, and many others has contributed to a multi-year downward trend of violent incidents in the city, including gun homicides. And whereas despite the commendable work and the heartening progress that has been made thus far, violent incidents, particularly those which involve firearms and young people, are still occurring at unacceptably high levels, causing devastation to our families and placing tremendous strain on the limited resources of our institutions and... Whereas Philadelphia Ceasefire began its campaign in 2011 at the Center for Bioethics, Urban Health and Policy at the Katz School of Medicine at Temple University, joining dozens of organizations and hundreds of individuals already working to mitigate the city's violence epidemic and... Whereas Philadelphia Ceasefire is a replication site of the National Public Health Organization Cure Violence, previously known as Chicago Ceasefire, which developed a structured, deliberate, and disciplined violence intervention strategy based on the premise of violence as a preventable public health issue and... Whereas Philadelphia Ceasefire's approach is evidence-based and has been proven to be effective in the reduction of homicides and shootings in Philadelphia's 22nd and 39th police districts and... Whereas their program includes efforts to heighten community awareness about gun violence and encourage area residents, to, residents as well as the community, business, and religious leaders to work towards reducing violence, especially shootings and homicides and... Whereas crucial to the success of Philadelphia Ceasefire is their choice of the most appropriate and effective people to deliver their anti-violence message directly to high-risk individuals, including Ceasefire staff, the program manager, outreach supervisor, outreach workers, and violence interrupters, and... Whereas these staffers, many of whom once were involved in the violence they now seek to prevent, spend 80% of their time outside of the office employing direct intervention strategies to mediate conflicts and prevent interpersonal violence, which is often the cause of shootings and killings in Philadelphia and... Whereas one such employee, Rashid Smith, whose compelling story, including a felony gun charge at the age of 16, the harsh wake-up call of imprisonment and the successful transition into the community, was recently told by Seanette Wilson of Fox 29 and... Whereas we salute and thank Ms. Smith and his, Mr. Smith and his colleagues and the rest of Ceasefire team for all of the brave, tireless, face-to-face -face work they do to prevent and reduce violence. And we share the hope that one day such efforts will no longer be necessary. Now, therefore, be it. 
I got it right here. <laughs> Resolved by the Council of the City of Philadelphia, the Council does hereby recognize Philadelphia ceasefire for their ongoing violence reduction efforts in the City of Philadelphia. And Rich, Councilman. Just want to thank um, Ceasefire for all their works and all the great efforts they've done to address violence in our city. All right. Councilman. Good? Yeah. Okay. Chair recognizes Ms. Davis Bellamy for remarks. How you doing, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Rashid Smith from Philadelphia Ceasefire. I just want to say um, thank you to my team. They've been a big help. They've been like big brothers and sisters. Also, Ms. Marla Davis for being like not just a boss, just like a mother and providing me and guiding me and always on me about, you know, getting my life together, not just for myself, but for my son and my family also. So I just want to thank you guys for coming today. And this is not the end for me, you're going to see me much more, not just on TV. I'm not doing it for television. And when I first started this job, I wasn't doing it for the money. I do it passionately because it's a lot of other youth out there, such as myself, that's just like me, going through a lot of the things that I went through. And, you know, I was blessed by God and provided with a job to share my story and motivate other youth, such as myself, to become better than me and, you know, look forward to, you know, achieving more of their goals. So once again, I want to thank my team, Philadelphia Ceasefire, Philadelphia City Council, and the guys that's here today and the police officers that's here today. You guys have a blessed day. All right. Good morning. I want to thank Councilman Green for this honor, as well as Council President Clark and all members of City Council for your ongoing support and acknowledging the work of the Philadelphia Ceasefire Program. There are so many members of our family that are here, including our prayer team. Uh, these individuals pray for us on the first Monday of every month, and they pray for our city. We're also very grateful to our partners, Department of Behavioral Health and the Managing Director's Office. Uh, we're also grateful to Dr. Kathleen Reeves of the Center for Bioethics, Urban Health and Policy at Temple School of Medicine, where our program is housed. We're also extremely grateful to Temple University, who eight years ago made this commitment to embark on this journey. All the time when I talk about our program, people ask me if I'm from Philadelphia. And I think this is an important question. I am from Philadelphia. A Masterman graduate who has done a number of things, including attending Johnson C. Smith University in Charlotte, North Carolina, Ohio State University, the Fell School of Government, and Temple Law School. I'm a Philadelphia alum. I headed a small healthcare foundation. I was a speaker at the 2000 Democratic National Convention. I've worked for Congressman Evans, Dr. Walter Lomax, Mr. Kenny Gamble. I was a law clerk for Johnny Cochran, part of the WRD family, and the chief of staff of the Pennsylvania Department of Health under Dr. Calvin Johnson. Needless to say, I have been involved in a few projects, have worked for the federal government and state, and I have run a couple of nonprofit organizations, and I can tell you Without any reservation, this team and this program has been proven to be effective in the reductions of shootings, and it works. I tell people all the time that I work for these group of young men and women who are dedicated their lives 24-7, 365 days a year, in an effort to prevent violent crime in many high-risk neighborhoods across the city. They canvass neighborhoods. They develop risk reduction plans for those coming home from prison. They mediate conflicts. They have visited over 100 schools in the district. They're on call 24-7 for two of our level one trauma centers. They attend court hearings. They visit their clients in prison. And they help their clients secure jobs. One of our clients recently was hired to work in Hatboro. His shift was 7 p.m. to 2 a.m. Our supervisor took him to work at 7 p.m. And another outreach worker, Michael Greenwood, picked him up at 2 a.m. This is how serious these young men and women are. And they're not volunteers. 
They're full-time employees of Temple School of Medicine. They make over $30,000 a year with the same health, education, and pension benefits of any Temple employee. They are credible case messengers who are from the neighborhoods in which they serve. They're hired by a community panel. They're trained for over 75 hours a year. And they have spent time in prison. However, Temple University did not make their backgrounds a barrier to employment. They have spent over 7,000 hours working with their clients this year, who they met on the streets, in schools, hospitals, and through referrals. These men and women represent and serve the young people of our city who are deeply troubled and make poor decisions, whether it's carrying a gun, dropping out of school, engaging in a flash mob, or selling drugs. This is a public health issue. It's an epidemic, and our program treats it as such. Given the fact that 14,000 people have been shot, according to police records, since 2006, all of us in this room and outside of us must embrace the fact that Philadelphia has a problem. However, Ceasefire has been working diligently to address this problem. These young men and women have beat the odds. One of them was living in a shelter when we hired him, and last year he brought his own home. They've been featured on Oprah Winfrey's network, our program manager was contacted one night by the Secret Service and spent the next full day with President Obama. But your recognition today is important. It continues to help motivate and encourage them. But we should not stop here. We should consider duplicating this effort across the city. This program has been endorsed by the U.S. Conference of Mayors, the Department of Justice, New York City, started with one ceasefire program and now has 18. Baltimore has four, and there are 60 cities across the country that are duplicating this effort in eight international countries. I'm so proud of these young men and women. They are our city's gladiators and will do whatever is necessary to save a life. They have influence on the streets of our city, and young people who are in crisis listen to them. They listen to them because they know that these young men and women have changed their lives, and they can too. Thank you very much. And we hope the council will certainly join us for reception immediately following today's meeting. Thank you. Council will be at ease.